Hello, welcome to another video. On this video, we're going to talk about how you can build a Shopify web application. Um, if you go to Shopify API, API tutorials, you will find this tutorial, but it's more or it's built uh, for Ruby on Rails if you are a developer on Ruby or on Rails. But in our case, we are .NET developers, either C Sharp or VB or another language on .NET. So this video is very short, but it will show you what you need to get started. Um, I'm going to create a basic project, nothing uh, new to anyone, just a project. And I'm going to select web, uh, ASP.NET web application 4.5 and the name right now it really does not matter but we'll just call it Shopify M05 something and click OK and in here I'm gonna select NBC and on this I guess <clears throat> demo we we'll just select web API just in case we end up using it later on but uh, you don't have to but I'm gonna click OK So as you can see, we have the basic template like we always get. I'm gonna close this because we don't need it. So I'm gonna move up here to the Solution Explorer and I'm gonna open properties because we need to know uh, details about this project. So depending on the number of projects you've done, this port will change. If you see, if you click your uh, solution or your project and you click on the URL you see there's a localhost and a port number so 6535 on this one so that's very important to know for the next step make sure you know where your website is gonna run from what port when you're doing your local uh, debugging or developing so the next step is if we scroll down to this tutorial, we're going to go down to this one. Step one, exposing your application to the internet. And basically, when we run this guy, we're going to hit debug. Eventually, we'll see up the default page here, home slash index. Okay, as we can see, this is the default page, nothing new here. But what we're trying to get right now is that this uh, address, localhost 6535, you cannot route that out on the public internet. This only works on your localhost, on your home network. So that's what we need right now. We need to expose our localhost So that's what we're going to do. We're going to expose. And then for that, you need this program. So I'm going to open another tab. I'm not sure how that pronunciation is. But this service from this company allows you to expose your local host uh, out into the public. So I'll show you. You can look at it, read it about it. It's really nice. There's, there's a free version. That's what we're going to be using right now. So I'm on Windows. So I'm going to be using Windows 64-bit, download it, and when you download it, you'll have, for example, that is the folder, and you'll have this file, ngrok.exe. That's all you're going to have. Now, since we're, you're going to be running this frequently, what I did, I just created a batch file. And in here, it's very simple. This is all you need to know. So as you can see, you start with the program name, you tell it what uh, protocol you're using, and this is very important. Then you need to know the port number for your project. So in our case, 
well we can just look at the firefox right here it's 6535 so we'll just write the 6535 and over here we do the same thing 6535 so we're telling it that any host the host header includes this we're going to tell it to uh, react to that to respond so i'm going to close this and i'm going to hit double click the batch file and as you can see uh, the service has created a port so right now it's going to forward anything that is at this address to my local host so i want to try that so i'm going to leave that one well we can just close that we can just overwrite that one i'm going to say it's a weird number but 39 ed 9b43 dot ng r o k dot i o click enter and as you can see it found it was forward the request was forward to our local host so let's say we we go to the about or the contact about as you can see right now our local host is exposed on the public anyone with this address can come right now and click on any of these links now this one has another tool now if you can see here where is that it's telling you the web interface so basically you go to the localhost 4040 and I'll show you what that means what does that localhost 4040 So you can see here, this is like a log. It's watching what are you doing. For example, let's go back home. As you can see here, we went to home. We got 200. And you can inspect what the server is returning back on any JavaScripts. And you can look at the headers, the raw, and all that information. So you're going to need to know this tool very well because when you are sending requests and Shopify will send you back uh, data back, you need to know what you're getting back. Like when you log in, you need to know what JSON or what the format looks like. So this is this tool, you need to know about it uh, very well. And obviously this program right now, this service, I have the free version. Uh, the free version means basically that this address 39ed9b43 will change like for example if I quit and I start it up again you'll see that the address is randomly selected 2dd now 38527 so every time you boot up basically the program it gives you a new one so that's the downside of the free version but if you select the pay version, I think it's $9.99, you can select your own uh, domain here. So you don't have to use this whole weird random uh, domain. You can pick your own. So that will be easier if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, Shopify applications. But for right now, this is all we're going to cover in this video about how you can expose uh, your program to the outside. Because when you're starting to authenticate, you need to know, you need to tell Shopify where to send you, where to redirect, and all those uh, details we're going to cover in the next video. So download, <coughs> excuse me, download this program. I'll leave the link on the description and download it and start practicing with it. And if you want, I'll leave this on the comment too, uh, this screenshot of how you can make your own batch file on your computer so you don't have to remember to type all of this just double click it so thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video